As uh, we welcome everyone here. Hello, Brian. Yes, uh, JB. Looking forward to today. Uh, big game today. Not no. really. <laughs> <laughs> but no, mate, not seeing you. <laughs> Hello, Jim. DT's more nervous about hosting this yes. Collingwood function tonight than he is the for what lies ahead the next two hours. I've so got, sharpen I've, up, BT. Look, I'm completing my rundown now. If you guys that throughout the day decide you want to add any little bit of info to the rundown, please do so. Those via the... Uh, Social media social platforms. Social media platforms. At Triple M Footy. Yep. Yep. When you say completing your rundown, you're actually starting it, I think, aren't you? Yeah, I'm starting the rundown. Oh. So you all get a chance to add. Duck, here two hours early, Brian, in preparation <laughs> for a speech uh, tonight at the big function well, at Palladium. We know he's always early, but extra yeah. early today. Yes. Uh, good to, wrap to be here today. Where else would you want to be? Oh, Seriously, no Collingwood Carlton at the MCG. Both had a great win, underdogs last week. Yep. Massive game today. Looking yep. forward to it. By the way, uh, the best uh, social media feedback we get at Triple M Footy, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, will win a brand spanking new Sharon. What's a brand spanker worth? Uh, Bristol, 150? 140. 200, yeah. uh, there, you, there you are. 200. Uh, 200. 200. Duck, 200. Will, duck will choose the winner just before the bounce. So pile in with your oh, feedback nice. on the Saturday rub or any... Uh, uh, the thing that Bristol can mention is he's hosting this big function today. If I sign at two fifty, <laughs> that's it. If, hey, I, if um, I sign at seventy five, <laughs> so Bristol, tell us a bit about tonight the Collingwood function. What is it? What does it entail? Uh, this, this big event, a thousand people. It's celebrating the one hundred and twenty five years that Collingwood has existed, basically. Yes. So that's what it's celebrating. Uh, celebrating one thousand two hundred and twenty two players have played for Collingwood in that one hundred and twenty five yes. years now. Uh, roughly half of those have passed on since then, but they've been able to gather, um, I think it is uh, 59, sorry, 42 of the 59 living players that have played for Collingwood that are in the okay. top 120. They'll all be there tonight. They'll be there. In They'll fact, be at the game today. Most of them are here today. Right. As well Jeez, as good, tonight. So if they're from interstate, they've been yeah. flown over. So or? there's, uh, you know, Ronnie Wearmouth come down from Queensland. Uh, Leon Davis oh, really? uh, Leon. has come from over at Perth. So they've flown them in from all over the place. This is the first, great, first time that they would have got those sort of numbers. 42 of a possible living 59 here. And did you compile the one-line biographies upon which you will announce them to the crowd? And I ask this for a reason, BT. Did no. You, oh. I think you did. <laughs> Or I tell you why I think you did, Jim. What's the reason? I had a look at his running sheet yes. before, and he's nice. got these little one line, you know, two time Copeland Trophy winner, you know, James Clemens. That's it. Gets down to Brian Taylor, goal kicking legend and superstar. Oh! <laughs> oh, <Bristol. laughs> oh, I I, nothing else came to mind. <laughs> I think I you wrote it put, yourself, Peter. I could have put all Australian Copeland, that sort of thing, but I thought, no. yeah. Do, do you feel lucky and fortunate to be one of the one twenty five? What are you saying? Feel I'm fortunate. just asking the question, Jim, as I do as a journalist. I feel fortunate to have played at the greatest I'm, I'm club joking of them that. all. I want to know, is it going to be in order? Because there's always conjecture about number one or one to That's five. That you could all, you, generally, there's ten players you could sort of mix up in any yes. order it's not a particular Duck, club. It's, I know you like the uh, categories, uh, as you saw on <laughs> you know, <laughs> top fives, because you're always featuring them, right? <laughs> But it's not about <laughs> the top 125. It's about the club. Inclusion. It's about the big thing. It's about the 125, See, I, 125th anniversary reckon, of the club. I reckon that's crap. I reckon people out there want to know who Collingwood and the people, the right people at Collingwood rank number one well, to number on. ten. There's a people book, want to know. The history, people love putting people in order. Can you do that before 2 o'clock this afternoon, Duck? Oh, I can have a little bit of a think Michael about it, but Rob, I don't, but I don't go back. Like Bobby yeah. Rose and all those guys. I never saw them. Dick Lee. All those guys play Dick Lee, and I know they were legends. Well, you should acquaint yourself with their history uh, of your own club first, and then you can start well, calling I, I have with my club. I yeah. could rank the top 10 at my club. Could yeah. you? Pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know, Bristol, if it's the, the, the 100, top 125, but you said about 50 are still with us? Yes. Yeah, I, I want to know if uh, Bo Nixon's sliding in there. <laughs> Uh, Luke Mullins, does he get a look in? <laughs> Bristol. Oh, well, it's a good question. What, what uh, of stylings are we going with uh, here? Probably our, uh, Matty Loken. our social media platforms could send in those that perhaps <laughs> may not make it. Oh, uh, I'm interested in who is the selection committee, Brian? Who's decided on these uh, 125? Uh, I? I think Eddie. Ed's been <laughs> in, oh, of course. No, I don't know for sure, but I, I would think Eddie. So, you know, you know, guys like uh, Athos Hysterlarkus. Arutha Larkus. <laughs> um... Terry Keys, you wonder whether they might uh, 
not be in. Um, Mark Bayless, oh, of course, from yes, Western Australia. Yeah, I remember the day he South turned up and said, I'm going to be the full forward. And I said, no, you're not. That night at training, <laughs> I drilled my knee into the back of his head as hard as I could and uh, <laughs> Never took, him, took oh, me most of the year no. to recover. I think that was in your book, wasn't it? Uh, probably. I think, I think we R- read that out one week. A yes. couple of the interstaters, Robert Pyman. <laughs> and was a North, ex- Robert North. Street, but at North. And Grantly Filky. Yeah, Grantly Filky. Uh, you know, Brad Oberon, Brad Smith. There's a few... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bristles just ball, wandering Washington. through them all. There's a few there. Andrew Yukovic. <laughs> there's a few there. There's well, a few there that are, not, are being considered. Not unique to Collingwood to have uh, some players that might <laughs> feature. But uh, all right, Bristol. Uh, what's uh, before we get on to last night? Because we need to talk about that. Uh, so the, you will be emceeing the the big function. Yes. I'll yes. Be, uh, and <laughs> Ed will obviously get up and speak. What else is uh, Ed's, part of the? Ed's the only speaker. The only speaker uh, on the night. It's not right. going to be one that's uh, a lot of speeches and stuff. Ed's the only really? speaker. The players will be formally introduced, and then we'll have uh, uh, "Wind Beneath My Wings" with. Colleen Hewitt, Colleen great, Hewitt, who's a great Collingwood oh, supporter herself. Absolutely. Top of the pops in the 70s yeah, and 80s. Massive. She's fantastic. And we're going to finish with uh, Delta Goodrum, who's Australia's number one yes. artist going oh, around at the moment. Delta. Yes. Nice. Delta. So she'll be there. And the uh, Melbourne Youth Orchestra will be there. And will you have a tuxedo on, Bristol? No, it's a lounge suit. Lounge suit. suit. <laughs> yes. Surely if you're introducing the players, you've got to have 10 down to number one. Uh, duck. Duck, let it go. Duck. <laughs> It's not about individuals. It's about the 125th. What's the point of naming a list if you're not going to give the top ten? You've got it wrong, mate. No, I it's haven't. not. A... Well, let it, let the Triple M audience decide. Yes. Let us. Hang you on. tell us That's whether this is a load of crap unless they name the okay. top ten. I will. I will read what the night is titled, and this may finally get through to you. What the 125th year. Gala ball. It's not the 125 top players. It's it's celebrating the 125 years. Well, why are you even naming 125 players? There's then, already a if you can't have an order. In a previous book written by Michael Roberts, there's already a hundred players that have been named. They're so adding, you're adding 25. 25. So why can't you have an order of that 125? It's it's got it's this is a holistic bigger picture of <laughs> of the 125 you know years. What? I was interested. Now Every... I'm not. <laughs> Everything you're involved I couldn't in give a crap involves about it. a <laughs> list because you know why? I've got, because you would have I've, been on the top of the list I've, all the time and, and you all, that's all you ever I've consider got, as lists. I've got text messages coming through here from ex-Collingwood people. It's like yes. your program and on they, 7. And they are saying... <laughs> the it's, top 5 it's, Bs. It's now, the top 5 Cs. It's now a load of crap because we're not going to know who the top 10 Collingwood players are. Well, you do it for them, Doug. At Triple M Footy, by the way, if you've got some suggestions as to who mightn't force their way into that 125, we'd like to hear from well, you. Well, I can give you the top 25 just, if you want. Uh, I just got a text. Oh. Who's Danny Roach? I can give you the top 25 if you want. The top 25 Danny of the Roach team of the century John Coast over today. the last 100 years. Hey, uh, Bristle, I want to know what your stylings will be because we've <laughs> all done lots of functions with you. I happen to love the way you go about it because you've got nice command <laughs> up on stage of anyone who gets out of line. <laughs> you want me to start? Any, anyone few... who's not listening so, well hey, enough? Hey, or hey, BT, so I just got a text from someone uh, that used to be at Collingwood. Oh. Uh, Danny Roach was number one draft pick. Never heard Played of one game. And uh, then went home. Oh. <laughs> so, well, he's on the list. I don't think he'll be in the yeah. top 125, but it doesn't matter because they're not uh, giving us an order anyway. I start so, with uh, <laughs> JB. Yes, uh, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, could you please take your seats? Oh, yes. <laughs> and what if a, peop- a couple struggle a bit, Bristol? And yeah. I'll repeat that only once more, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and then it will be in your seats, please. <laughs> and uh, then it'll be, you know, the quiet. Do you do the shh, 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 shh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in mid-sentence. Right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome. Do you have a little couple of henchmen oh, around the room to cold. assist your cause on that? No, it's done purely by me. The voice. A hundred, and, a uh, thousand people bristle. It's going to be... Luck. It's a, It's pretty if, easy. If they win, they'll be half cut when they get there. They will. Yeah. Be, if they lose, they'll be three quarters. Today, but, uh, mm. Anyway, look at it. It'll be good. And I've got a beautiful speech here ah, written. Bristle, you uh, will dominate. I just want to know if with a room and a function of that sort of gravitas, whether you go... <laughs> about it your normal way, which is to get nice and personal <laughs> and direct with anyone who doesn't do as they're told. I don't individualise, but I will point out table numbers, yeah. uh, but not individuals. Have you themed your speech that we can see in front of you now? Is there a, a nice, yeah, nice storyline running through? There is. It's themed around 
for the 125 years of Collingwood, Damo. <laughs> you, know, you normally insert yourself into these things. Are you, are you in there? No, I'm not. I, I was a young boy from Busselton back in no. 19... <laughs> I'd, been, I'd, been, I'd been booted out of Richmond Footy Club when uh, Michael no. Roach kept right. kicking goals. And I get... That's enough. Now. I like it, Bristol. Yeah. I'm looking forward to some feedback. Purple, I reckon there'll probably be some suggestions as to how we should roll with that too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jesse White's getting a look in there. Dermot Burton, who played Dermot. for that one <laughs> season of a... 95, but he actually wasn't too bad, was he? From Sam yeah. Kekovic played four games. He did. Uh, he did, Keke. A couple Keke. of cloaks are getting a mention. Dale Woodhall, Clinton King, oh, Jason Wilde, yeah. Mickey <laughs> Gaffer. <laughs> You'll get a few references here, BT. Yeah. Yeah. BT's in there. Mason Cox, Brad Hardy. At, uh, Brad Hardy.